Okay, it's a perfect morning today again. And we are going to attempt to go on a little flight. As we've done in the past few mornings, it is just beautiful here. Just beautiful where we are right now. Um, this time, I'm on the other side of the bridge, so what we've got is... And if only I could get to the app. Here we go. What we've got here is a beautiful, beautiful view. Um, but we've got one of those trees, so we have to stay away from the D-factor as much as possible. Because you all know how a D-factor can really mess with stuff. So let's see. Why hasn't the drone turned on? We'll see. There we go. Now it's on. Now it's on. Okay, so now we should get some kind of feedback. Come on. Wakey, wakey. No, it's not having it. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna do this. In the meantime, since it's taken this long, I might as well show you how beautiful it is with the regular method, which is just with the camera. Did I put the camera on the wrong way? You guys can see how beautiful it is. Absolutely perfect day. You can see where the drone is. Everything should be hunky-dory so long as I don't mess it up, which I might. It's happened before. Um, where is that app? Mornings, right? Mornings. I don't drink coffee. I didn't have tea. And so... <clears throat> clearly, I'm not... 100%. Not 100%. But, the percentage that I have is, is good enough. And I'm not sure why I just did that again. Just jumped out of the app. Pretty sure I didn't do anything strange to it. There we go. We're back in. We're back in, but we've got no camera. Oh, there we go. I keep telling, <clears throat> keep telling this drone that I don't dance, but here I am, spinning you round and round in circles. Here we go. Once, twice, three times a lady. Did you vomit your breakfast once, twice, three times a Compass calibration complete. Oh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens now. What are we, how many minutes are we into? About three minutes in. We'll start the flight in a second. But we don't have the satellites, so the satellites are not going to be helpful right now, but they will be helpful later, maybe. What we're going to try to do today is see if there's any nice birdies. If there's any nice birdies out here. Uh, we can attempt to track from a distance. We can try. We can try. We still got 10 satellites from this position. Maybe it's just not the best. Not sure. Still can't lift off. I did charge the battery all the way to 100%, and it is not 100% on the drone. That is kind of interesting there. So I'm hoping that that's not a big issue, and that Hubson batteries are just not as good as DJI batteries, but that is already something that makes me wonder a little bit. And from this position, again, as I said before, it's struggling to get anything more than 10 satellites. Might it be this big tree in the way? I really don't know. But this might be a downer. This might be a downer, so I'm not sure what to do at this point. Still not getting any... Ask me for a compass calibration which I hadn't done for a while, and that's okay. Because I guess if a lady asks you to, to dance, you'll just dance. 
Um, but what is going on? We got 11 satellites. You know what we need? We need uh, we need Starlink. That's what we need. We need to connect this this drone to Starlink, and then we'll have we'll have something that might actually work. That might actually work, cause what's going on today? You should be able to fly with at least. Maybe I'll just move myself somewhere else. Should be able to fly with at least 14. I think was it 13 or 14 yesterday? We said I was gonna find about that amount, but today it's not. For some reason, it's not. Oh, we've got 13 satellites. We finally got 13 satellites. Okay, we can finally take off. Uh, so, we can finally take off. Let's be careful how we do this, because we don't want to interfere with... There's a nice man fishing, and we don't want to get in his way. So we're going to go the other side. We're going to fly onto the other side. We don't want to get in his way. So we'll take off. The home point has been updated. Please be mindful of the new return to home point. We're going to head way out, away from wherever he's fishing. We do not want to get in the way of that. There we go. We're going to go way out. I'm going to change my position because I want to be able to see the drone and where it's going. And right at the current time, the drone is... Uh, is drifting a little bit in the wind, so I'm not sure if that compass calibration really did its thing that well. Uh, but anyway, let's take it out there a little bit. Just beautiful day, beautiful lake. We do have the satellites that we need to succeed. And so we're gonna take a nice little gentle pan here we go to see what's going on again worst that could happen is I land in the lake at this point which would be horrible because I don't want to lose this amazing drone but you know it's not really going to do much and look at that beautiful sun and how it's reflecting off of the off of the water. That is that is really cool. I'm enjoying this. This is a nice, calming, peaceful day in paradise. Let's do a little bit of a gimbal down to see. I think there were some birds earlier. Somewhere around here. I do not spot them at the current time, so I'm going to can it back up and we'll go on a little longer journey we'll turn it a little bit more this way and we'll head to that little construction that's down there it's nice that we finally have 16 satellites so that's more than enough to do whatever we want and um just be beautiful visuals all all the way around, all the way around. So, uh, yesterday I, I watched an amazing live stream. I'm not sure if you guys saw it. But they were discussing some new technology which seems to be very interesting. It's called the Paypixel or something, Paypixel. So I thought that was quite interesting. You guys can go check it out and figure it out on your own if that is technology that might help you or not but it could be very useful in my opinion based on what I heard during that live stream uh, for a lot of people wanting to get into um, shooting things with drones like not shooting things but <clears throat> making content with drones whether it's videos or fo using photography or whatever it is um, supposed to be a good alternative to some of the other systems that are out there 
similar to, I think it's Squarespace or something. So anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. They did that. I'm gonna start heading in towards where I am again a little bit. I'm gonna run it nice and slow. Again, we're gonna do this gently but surely, and we're gonna make sure that we do this as safely as possible. And we're also gonna stay away from the fish zone because we don't want to impact what the fish may be doing down there. We're now coming back towards best position. Unfortunately, I wanted to go to the lagoon today, and I soon discovered that the lagoon is not open. So that is kind of a sucky thing. That is kind of a really sucky thing. The lagoon is not open today. It is so peaceful out, out here today. So incredibly beautiful and peaceful out today. And I'm gonna head in a little bit more this way. And as I go this way, I'm going to pan a little bit more this way. Can easily can easily see the drone now. I'm gonna pan a little bit more. We're heading towards the bridge here. And we're gonna go nice and smooth under. Let's go see what we can see here. Towards. Again, part of the problem is when you're not looking at the screen, you're, you may be yawing way too fast, which can ruin the shot a little bit. Um, so far I did not see any birds that we could track at this point, which is a little bit disappointing. I was hoping for at least one or two multicolored birds or something that we might be able to the track, but they're busy doing something else right now, so who knows what they are up to. We could migrate to our usual spot and see uh, what happens under the day. Battery's still 68%, so plenty of battery to go. You can go check out and see if there's any birds on this side that could be tracked. Um, but I don't think so. At least not at the current time. There's not a whole lot going on here. There is one bird in the sky, but not exactly going to be useful at that point. But, let's see, we could try to track me and see how well it does. But I think usually what happens is it loses my position to some extent. Unless I use the other system. So, we could do this. Then, we could put it in the tracking mode. Let's see, following 
follow me. It needs to be at a higher altitude, so we'll put it at a higher altitude. And then you can say execute immediately. And then hide hide that. And we could see what it what it does. I'm trying not to step on some of the poops here. Again, it does not have obstacle avoidance. So at some point I would have to say like lift way, way up higher in order for this to run. But I'm pretty sure that once I try to get underneath the bridge, it will lose me for sure. I mean, we can try, we can try it. But strong, is it high enough not to hit trees? I'm gonna go a little bit higher still. Just in case. <clears throat> Strong feeling that if I go under the bridge, it might lose me. Or it might not, I don't know. It's not, it's not losing me though. Let's see. Does not seem to be losing me. So maybe it won't lose me. It just happens to be that good. I don't know. I'm gonna go through here. I check that it's above all the trees. I feel like it's still following me. Yeah, yeah, it followed me. It followed me um, perfectly. Because as you can see, I'm right there. And let's see if that zoom worked. Let's see, FN zoom. And then we're gonna have to do this. I can do this. And you guys notice that it still has me. So let's do that again. <clears throat> we're gonna walk under the bridge. That's pretty phenomenal. That's pretty phenomenal that with the GPS track, it still knows where I am. Uh, it can't see me, but it's still following me. And at this point, yeah, there, look, I'm still in shot. I just went underneath a bridge. That is, <laughs> that is pretty phenomenal. If you ask me for, for what I'm doing. I did nothing other than, you see, um, you notice on the screen, I did absolutely nothing at all with the settings. I just set it up and it's just doing its thing. It's right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down and undo the obstacle thingy, my jig. I don't know if it could also follow you lower but again if it did that would put this at much much risk so i'm not really willing to do that uh, so f fn we're going to zoom out there we go and then we're going to try to gimbal it up and we'll go on a little tour under the bridge again back to the starting point uh, i was not able to find any fun birds to, to hang out with and track so we were hoping for a white bird like a like a swan or something but it's not okay something is not right with the controls right now what's going on here I'm gonna bring it Oh, I know why. I need to stop and get out of that mode because right now it's it's gone into like a headless headless mode or something system. It's for some reason it had all the um, the commands were like backwards or something. So I'm gonna just go check the other side for birds and see if we can find. 
even a pigeon at this point would be pretty good. Even a pigeon at this point would be pretty good, guys. Vision fever. GPS hover. Okay, let's see. Some nice shot here of where we go. I'm gonna put the drone down in a second. It's drifting off a little bit. Landing. Okay, that's it. One down. One down, and there's going to be more to go. But what a picture, guys! What a picture! We got 17 satellites. It's perfect. All we need is to find some birds, and um, there just weren't any. I guess all the all the big birds, the geese, and the other ones just went off somewhere else. So. A little bit unfortunate. Maybe we need to come later in the day. Ooh. Let's see here. Maybe we should bring bread or something. Anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna try the DJI Mini 2 in a couple of minutes. Um, but that was a pretty successful flight overall, and I was very impressed with how this thing could follow me even though I went under a bridge and across to the other side. Because of the GPS on the remote control, it was able to keep track with the remote control. So that's that's fancy pantsy right there. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care guys.